Hey there, my name is Vernica Delancey and I'm talking to you today about subdividing land in the Turks and Caicos Islands. Basically, land is one of the property types in the TCI that many are attracted to because it's easier to get into the real estate market with these properties. One of the things some people have been doing is buying larger acreages and subdividing them to create, of course, a subdivision. Here are a few quick points I would like to share with you about land subdividing. Point number one. So basically, I would suggest that you must get an architect or surveyor, surveyor preferred, involved to assist with the mutation of your lot. First step, planning approval. Then you need to get land survey approval. And then, of course, land registry, registration of the new title numbers, giving each one its own register. The timeline for this process, it can vary. The second thing I would like to say to you is, number two, is that if you decide to bill on your land before subdividing, it is good practice to speak with an architect about positioning your home on the lot so that it allows for future subdivision. Why would I say this? Because you would want to ensure that you are adhering to all the setbacks and that you are getting maximum usage out of the land. So in simple terms, if you have one acre lot and you place it and you place your home in the middle of the lot, then instead of being able to get three additional or four additional lots out of this property, you may only be able to get one. Therefore, you're not maximizing the complete usage of this parcel that you have. The third thing I would like to say to you about subdividing is that if you decide to sell any of the lots while it is being mutated, you should at least have planning approval first, like I mentioned. Then you can begin marketing them as part one, part two, et cetera, until you get final registration of the complete parcels. Persons can purchase them, but the transaction cannot close until the final new numbers are received and then the parcel can then be transferred and completed in the new owner's name. The fourth thing is, having a mortgage on a property does not prohibit you from mutating or subdividing a property. That's a, that's a question we normally get. You can actually request the consent of the lending company and you will be free to mutate once they agree. It means that the charge on the Moe's company will be placed on both properties when the mutation is completed. So should you decide to sell one of these mutated lots, that is also possible once the bank is being paid what is owed. So basically to learn more about the mutation process, just send me an email and I can put you in touch with an expert that can help with your mutation needs. Also, I would say to you, continue to follow and like my social media channel. My Facebook page is Real Estate with Vernica Delancey and my YouTube channel is Vernica Delancey.